Hey everybody, so I just wanted to share some pictures in regards to the Debbie Collier case. Someone actually went and visited the crime scene and took a lot of photos, so I just thought that this would be nice to share so that you can kind of get a feel for what the crime scene area looks like where Debbie was actually found. Now, I'm not sure if she wants to be named, but this is in one of the Facebook groups. She stated that she is 100% confident that no one drug Debbie's body here, that this is in fact where she lost her life. She said that the woods are very dense and that there's no flat area in which someone could lay out an entire tarp and enjoy the view of the creek. There was no view of anything really. The only way her and her husband found this location was from the crime scene tape. Now, we know that the scene where Debbie was found is about 13 miles from the family dollar, and then from where her vehicle was parked to where she was found is about a 15-minute walk. This picture here is of the embankment where she was found at the bottom of, and you can see from this picture just how steep that is. Now, this person did say that they don't think it's a coincidence that this was right next to the rehab facility because they said that it was literally one driveway over. In this picture, we can see this is a second burn site. There are some burns on those two branches there. In this picture, we see a pair of blue gloves. We also see a red piece of fabric, which could be a piece from Debbie's jersey, as well as a piece of the blue tarp. This picture appears to be the paper towels and I thought that this was interesting and in that maybe these paper towels were used to start the fire because we can see there's burn marks all around the edges of the paper towels but not in the middle of the paper towels. And, and in my opinion, when you're trying to start a fire using a piece of paper, you usually just take your lighter and burn the edge of it and then the whole thing will catch fire. This is also another piece of what appears to be Debbie's red jersey that she was wearing. This picture appears to be evidence of a fire. I'm not sure what those little items are. This one, we have a water bottle. And then this plastic, she said that this was plastic from a camera, so I'm not 100% sure what kind of camera or what that would be for. I'm not sure if that's even related to Debbie's case specifically. Now this photo is the uprooted tree. So as you can see, there are some of the paper towels and some gloves. And in this photo, she's showing us in that red circled area is where that uprooted tree is. So it's up a little higher. I just think these photos are really great to kind of give us a sense of what this area looked like and just how steep this hill was. I think it's very possible for someone to fall down this hill. Now, she also did note that there were several camping places and picnic areas nearby, so there was really no reason for her to pull off on the road like she did if she was wanting to just camp or go hike or to just think about something, so I think that's very interesting as well. Now, I know there were reports about this bullet being found, but I'm not sure if it's related yet or not. Let me know what you guys think about that and all of these pictures. Again, I have a much longer video coming. I'm still working on it, so let me know what you guys think. Hit the like button and subscribe.